Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum and there is some cool breaking news on ATF and NFA e-forms that I'd like to share with you guys. It's not as good as deleting the whole registry, but it will at least make things a bit easier for everyone who is buying or selling NFA items. So this applies to machine guns, but also short-barreled rifles, short-barreled shotguns, silencers, suppressors, uh, and AOWs. And what's happening is in about two weeks, starting on approximately December probably 18th or so, um, ATF is going to have a fully electronic version of Form 4. So if you know what that is, that's a pretty cool development. If you're not familiar with that, Form 4 is the form that's used to transfer an NFA item to an individual. So if you are not a dealer, and you have purchased a machine gun, a short barreled weapon, a silencer, etc. Form 4 gets filled out, that's where you pay your $200 to get your tax stamp. Right now the paper Form 4 has a waiting time of typically 7 to 9 months, sometimes as much as 14 months, which is absolutely ludicrous and is a gigantic pain and it totally sucks. Uh, part of this process is mailing in fingerprint form, fingerprint cards, and photographs with the form. Uh, you have to send in the form in, in multiple copies, it's, it's really quite obnoxious. Uh, what ATF has finally been able to do, and this has been in development for about two years now, um, NFA TCA helped do a bunch of the alpha and beta testing on the system to make sure it would actually work uh, in the real world, and it looks like it is, and they're ready to introduce it to make it live. Um, a fully electronic version of Form 4. So there have been other electronic forms that are up and running already. They are typically all dealer to dealer type forms. Um, what has made Form 4 difficult, they did try it a number of years ago and it didn't go very well, is that fingerprint element of it. Uh, the, in previous times what you did was you, you could do some of the form electronically, but then you still had to go get a fingerprint, physical fingerprint card and physically mail it to ATF, which kind of defeats a lot of the purpose. Well, the current version of the eForm 4 that's being made live in just a couple weeks uh, includes digital upload of fingerprints. And that's not done through scanning a fingerprint card, it is done through uploading an EFT file that is the FBI designed finger electronic fingerprint format. So it's a, a data format that encrypts all of the specific data relevant to fingerprints. And uh, it's a, a file format that can be created or is created using virtually every digital fingerprint scanning machine that's out there. The silencer called kiosks, for example, can create this file. And so instead of, if you do an NFA transfer, instead of having to go down and either get ink fingerprint cards, which is doubly annoying, um, or just the digital physical fingerprint cards, you now just get your EFT file once. Uh, thing, like the whole point of fingerprints is they don't change. Um, there is currently no expiration date set on an EFT file. So you get it once, you can then uh, fill out the Form 4 electronically, you attach your EFT fingerprint form, you attach your uh, photograph, and the whole thing gets submitted electronically, which will take a lot of the hassle out of uh, Form 4 transfers. So it's not a perfect system. Um, there will be some issues when there's data that's not quite right, but ATF's goal with this is by the end of 2022 they want to have eForm 4 transfer times down to 90 days, and by the end of 2023 they want to have those transfer times down to 30 days. We'll see if they can actually make those goals, but frankly it's a virtual guarantee that transfer times will be substantially reduced with the electronic forms. Uh, it obviously, aside from all of the physical mail issues involved and the physical you know, stacking and moving of mountains of paperwork. Um, there are a number of advantages to the eForm. Uh, as every piece of data is inputted in the system, it is automatically validated. So you can't put in something that has, say, a typo in the manufacturer's name or a caliber that doesn't exist. A lot of the, just the little typographical type errors that, that will cause a paper form to go to ATF, sit for six months, and then get bounced back uh, to be revised. Um, and those are the sort of issues that can add a tremendous amount of time to the whole process, both for an individual person and for the system as a whole. So I would love it if the eForms can actually bring that, that transfer time down to as little as 30 days. I mean, immediate would be really nice, hopefully we'll get to that eventually, but um, anything coming down from the 7 to potentially 14 months that it is now will be a really cool uh, advantage. So um, the eForm system is it's on ATF's website. I'll have a link to it uh, in the description text below. You do not have to be a dealer to sign up. 
Um, you do have to create an account there. It is, of course, free. The $200 tax stamps are not. Oh, and by the way, the tax stamps are set up with pay.gov, so they can be run with any standard credit card processing or any they can process any standard credit card. You don't have to mail a check. Like the whole form is done electronically and submitted and complete. So um, open to private individuals as well as dealers. I think most of the people who are using the system won't have to actually, they, you won't do it yourself. It'll be a thing where you go to a shop or a dealer to buy something like a suppressor. The dealer will be able to use the e-form system. The upshot for you as an individual buyer is that it will transfer a whole lot faster. Anyway, um, I'm sure you're going to see this news elsewhere, but I thought it'd be cool to get it to you guys uh, right now. So uh, that's all I got. We'll be back tomorrow with a cool forgotten weapon. Thanks for watching.